Now, um, now I want to right, start asking about uh, Dubai itself, uh, the music community in the UAE. Um, like, for instance, rock music. What I noticed back in 2009 and prior, rock music was a thing here, just like hip hop and heavy metal. There was a lot of heavy metal festivals, but I noticed around 2011 or 2012, it started dying down because the DJ and the house culture started growing more and more in the city. And then Dubai just became first very electronic and house and digital, just immediately right off the bat. And anything that was like acoustic involving started becoming less and less. But do you think that there's a chance that rock, the rock culture can resurrect itself in the UAE in this decade? I don't think here, um, because rock music is not popular anymore, you know, and, um, mm. uh, you know, it might do in Europe or, um, you know, uh, the UK or the US, you know, but um, I think here a lot of just bands and musicians, you know, they just play commercial songs because people come here for work, you know, so, and what, what uh, sells here is just the top 40s and, uh, Mm -hmm. what everybody else is playing so there's not a lot of room for like original music now right and again a lot of venues they don't like you know to hire rock bands because they uh you know they think that nobody would come or really or, or you know so it's you know they, uh, yeah i think that's that's really the, the main uh, reason um uh you know i'm just like i'm doing my own thing but you know you don't see rock bands uh, really like in the ua i think it's for that for that reason right. i don't think the market is here for for rock bands i might be wrong you know but but uh, before they used to have like festivals you know they had like uh, some desert uh, and they used to bring bands or whatnot and uh yeah, some things like that like you know um but uh i think original bands I don't, I don't think so i don't see it happening here um rock cover bands uh, there's been a few mm. um you know, but again, it's, it's like a niche type of thing, you know, it's a, it's a lot of people who love rock and roll here in, in the UAE, you know? Right. And again, the, the problem is, I guess, is there's no venues if, you know, I like to go out and listen to some good music and I just can't find sometimes a, a venue that, you know, has but, the atmosphere that, that I actually like, you know? But, but what about like places like McKinnigan's and Irish Village? Like, I thought they were like mostly where the rock festivals or rock gigs will mostly be at, but even uh, there as well. I, I suppose it? they would have the occasional, the, rock gig or, or whatnot, mm. but, um, you know, there are a lot of venues who will have, like, you know, for occasions, they will make an event and they will have a, you know, rock show or some band coming over to play or whatever, but, you, you know, it's not something that they would do every day, you know? Right. And, um, you know, because they need to play the music that most people like. So I think, you know, for rock bands, you know, you're not going to be expected, you're not going to play every single day, you know? Right. Maybe once a week, you know? Mm. And, you know. So, and most musicians who come here, you know, they come here for work. So they just, you know, they're going to play what, what people demand of them, you know, um, just because they can work more days, you know. Right. And also it, it's easier, like, you know, to do a duo or a trio or just go solo, you know, with some backing tracks in, instead of uh, having a band, you know, because also venues, they don't like paying for big pants, you know. <laughs> And rock, rock and roll music, you know, it's about the band, you know, it's about the experience, you know, you can't do it in a tiny format, you know, it needs to be a band, it needs to be a strong bass, you know, uh, drums, you know, that, that's what, what gets the loud music kind of feeling, you know, like loud guitars. So, yeah, I mean, it is what it is, you know, but uh, for me personally, um, I love rock and roll and that's the only thing I do, you know, so, you know, I'm not gonna do popular stuff. Um, you know, if it means more work, you know, I'd rather do something else and... We built it. this city, we built this city on rock and roll. Like they said, that's like one of the worst, that was like the number one worst rock song in the 1980s. Did you know that? Yeah, it's a good song, but um, you need to take some voice lessons, my friend. Uh, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> We'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you.